So, Robert, it's been a horrendous few months for your party, everyone fighting like rats in a sack. Is the civil war in the Conservative Party now over, in your opinion? Yes, I think the Conservative Party are very good at getting back together because we realise that um, we need to win the next election. And although I was part of Rishi's team, uh, I'm going to be pulling behind Liz and, and doing everything I can to make sure that she's successful. I hope that she can bring forward a team of all the talents with her, with her new cabinet and new ministerial team. Uh, and I think we need to demonstrate to the country that we, in this particular situation, the crisis we're facing now across a whole variety of fronts, that we can actually demonstrate to the British people that we are the best people to take us through this difficult time. But the truth is, Robert, during that campaign, some pretty tough words were said. Uh, and indeed, you know, basically Team Truss say that Rishi Sunak was a captive of Treasury orthodoxy, of global thinking. Um, how on earth can these people who've been fighting against each other so much, how on earth can a parliamentary party that's just committed regicide against Boris Johnson, how on earth does it all come together again and pretend that it's happy families? Well, I think the election in less than two years' time will concentrate our attention. And don't forget that, you know, when Rishi came up with the furlough scheme, that wasn't Treasury orthodoxy. That was really quite against the grain. And I think, you know, Rishi does have his own mind. He, he was certainly not a chancellor that I've heard accused of going along with Treasury orthodoxy. So, you know, I think that we really do need to, you know, get on the front foot. You know, let's trust any one of the five people that put their names forward is, is going to be better than Keir Starmer as our next prime minister. And we need to make sure we can demonstrate that. And, you know, there will be no continuity Rishi campaign as far as I'm concerned. We will all be pulling behind Liz to make sure that we can get that historic uh, election win in, in probably May or June uh, 2024. Do you agree with me, Robert, as a final thought, that the Conservative Party, many people feel let down by it. It's consistently double digits behind in the polls. Do you agree with me that it's drinking in the last chance saloon in electoral terms? Don't write us off, you know, and, and when you are in government, particularly when there's a crisis on, you know, you have to look back through history when you know, and the country's facing very tough challenges. The government has to take some tough decisions and, and people respect a government that, that one understands the problem and then can take the necessary action. And this isn't just about people paying their energy bills. It's about, you know, access to, to gas for industry. It's, I'm, a, I'm a farmer. I chair the AFRA committee. You know, we're really worried about getting fertilizer for the coming season. Without fertilizer, we can't produce food. We can't, you know, fill those uh, supermarket shelves. So, you know, there are a number of issues, both uh, domestically and, and internationally, with the situation in Ukraine, where I believe Liz will step up to the mark. She's probably the most experienced of the candidates. She was in you know, a number of government departments, including <coughs> DEFRA, so yep. she'll understand those issues. So I'm, I'm yep. optimistic that we can pull together. And I'm really looking forward to Prime Minister's questions on, on Wednesday, when she can get on the front well, foot and show Keir Starmer that she means business. <laughs>